What's up, everybody? It's me, Johnny. How's everybody doing? Um, I said when I first came back to doing videos, I want to do some videos that there's some anniversaries in, in pop culture today. And this is one of them right here. Batman. This year marks the 80 years of Batman. Um, so I really wanted to show it because I'm a huge fan of Batman and kind of a DC Comics. I always enjoy DC Comics a little more. But Batman always been my favorite superhero. So I have a huge collection of Batman. Um, it's mainly movies, and I have even a couple of video games, and I just have a couple pieces of music, which this is one of them that I'm showing. I'm just showing the main stuff, that stuff that's mainly solely Batman, because if I showed everything that had Batman in it, we'd be here all day, and you know, and so due to like time, I just want to do stuff that's solely Batman, but still a lot of stuff to see, and I said in past videos that I am a big kid, and you will find out in a minute. So, so I, was like, I guess first I'm going to show the music stuff, and this is one of them. This is probably one of the main music things I have. And I have the album, too, the actual LP of Prince, but this is a CD version of the Batman soundtrack from Prince. So, I showed these in my videos, so I don't want to go crazy um, showing every little thing. This is basically the main thing I have of Batman on CD, which is the Prince album, Batman soundtrack. So, there you go. Then I have this, this is really cool. I showed this one time on my finds. This is a promo of Batman. I want to say it's either from the movie or the show. I mean, it's probably the same music, but this is a promo of the Batman chase. And the Batman theme, obviously, this I got played more. You can see, if you see it in person, you can see all the imperfections, but, and then here's the chase. So it's a really cool promo. I found this for a very good price. Very happy when I found it. So, so we have that. So I'm just gonna get right on into it and show all the stuff. So first thing I'm gonna show is the movies. So you're gonna see a lot of stuff. And I have them semi in order. Starting with this, I got them semi in order um, to see Batman through the years of 80 years of Batman. So here we go. So I'm gonna just show some stuff, and you guys can look at it. And I may say some things along the way about releases. So this is the earliest thing I have of Batman. The complete 1940 movie serials. Surre Surreals? I don't know how to say that word. Y'all help me out. <laughs> um, so basically from 1943 and 1949 of Batman. As you can see, that's what it looked like. So he played in movie theaters back then. So yeah, I, I, it's always been, I think the reason why Batman was always my favorite superhero is because there's Adam West um, you know he's like a self-made man you know he don't have no superpowers I think a lot of people would say that about Batman him not having superpowers he's a self-made man undercover playboy guy gets all the ladies a rich guy you know everything that somebody would want to be so and I like I said earlier I just always been more of a fan of DC. And I'm not a comic book nerd. I don't collect comic books. That's just another thing to collect. But I do know some of that stuff about the, I guess, DC comic universe. I'm not like a super nerd about it, but I, but still, uh, a nerd. So, <laughs> so yeah. Um, yeah. Here's a complete series. This is Vincent Price. He appeared on the series. So. And I don't collect movies like I used to. Not to the degree I used to. I really just solely, you know, for the most part, usually just collect music now. As you guys know, because I have a lot of Elvis stuff and Prince and Michael Jackson and all this other stuff. But, um, I used to really be into collecting movies. And some releases I still get. And I'm going to show you which ones I still follow. So, The New Adventures of Batman. I want to say Adam West um, voiced that. That's season one of it, and here's season two of it that came out years later. Because growing up, I, would, I just watched a lot of stuff from the DC studio. And I think as far as animation goes, they always had it down. Um, for the live action stuff, I think Marvel really does have more of a grasp on that. Because I think they have more characters to play off of. They're really the main ones for... Which they've been trying... Main ones are really are Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. So this is, uh, as you can see, Batman the Animated Series. This is, you know, me getting into Batman right here. I was a kid when this 
came out. I was probably about five when the anime series came out. This just came out on Blu-ray. I, I don't want to rebuy stuff. That just costs too much money. I don't know how people can do that. But this season three. But I do have all these. I remember buying all these at one time, these box sets. So they had a huge sale, I think, at Best Buy years ago. Here's the last volume. So I used to really enjoy this show. And I watched all this stuff again, of course. So so I think earlier this year they came out with that box set. But I just saw a pre-order for this. Every once in a while I just look up random stuff. But they're coming out with a big Blu-ray box set of Batman Beyond. Basically futuristic Batman. And I used to watch this show too. So Batman Beyond Season 1. Season 2. So like I said, this is just like mainly solely Batman. If I showed everything I had Batman of, it'd be a lot of stuff. Because I have all those movies and, you know, Justice League movie. And I have the Justice League animated series and those Super Friends shows. I got all that. I mean, if you guys want me to show that one day, I can. But it's not on this video. It'll just take too long. All right, the next series, that was Batman Beyond. Now the next series we have is, came out after it, was Batman. Came out around 2005. So, yeah, I'm a, and if I do collect DVDs, it is of cartoons. Like cartoon. Oh, I love cartoons of the golden era. Also, of course, this ain't golden. This is like more of the, well, Batman the animated series is more of the animated renaissance, as they call it. So, because so I do collect a lot of old cartoons, like Hanna Barbera. You know, all the Looney Tunes, like. From Warner Brothers, stuff from MGM, you know, like you know, like uh, Tom and Jerry and all that. So I enjoy all that stuff. It's just to me, it's just great stuff. And I think it's sad that with those classic cartoons, here's the next one, Batman the Brave and the Bold. I think it's sad that you don't see that stuff on TV anymore because it's really a sense. It's really a humor that I don't think kids understand today. Like for example, when you watch a Looney Tunes. Um, I remember there was this one episode of the Looney Tunes. I think it was Yosemite Sam and Bugs Bunny. They were having a standoff like in old westerns. He's like, he, I think he said like Cary Grant, huh? Or something. You think any kid today knows who Cary Grant is? Uh, not a lot, probably. I'm not going to say not at all, but... This is a newer movie that came out. This is a uh, Scooby-Doo basically meets Batman, the Brave and the Bold. So, this came out I think last year or so. It's really cool. So I keep up with stuff like this. If I see something like Batman, I get it. This next series was very short-lived. wasn't successful at all. Um, it's like computer animated. It's called Beware the Batman. It wasn't that great, to be honest. Well, I got a huge stack already over here. And here's part two of it. So that's a complete series of this. And next is a whole bunch of animated movies that goes with a lot of those animated series I just showed. So let me show those. Batman and Mr. Freeze, Batman the Mask of the Phantasm, which I actually saw that in theaters earlier this year. It was the anniversary of it, I think 25th or something. I was the only one in the theater. But it was cool to see it on the big screen because when it came out, I was really young and didn't see it on the big screen. This is uh, Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. Batman the Mystery of Batwoman. This is the, um, the PG version. Yeah, the PG version of... Oh, I'm sorry, the not rated version of Return of the Joker. I do have the PG-13 version. So this one has this one has a little bit different stuff in it because it was edited for TV. So there we got... Batman, the Batman from the series versus Dracula and then the Batman Superman movie. It was actually like a two or three part episode in the Superman anime series in 96 of a crossover episode of Batman and Superman. And I can tell you what, of animation, um, the voice of Batman, Kevin Conroy, all the way. He's awesome. And this is a new thing. This is a newer one. And I'm not sure. I want to say maybe they were thinking about coming out with an animated series of this. And they didn't. Of Batman Unlimited, so they just came out with movies. So this is one of them, and honestly, they're really not that great. I, mean, I don't care for them too much. So. And then we have another one, uh, Monster Mayhem. 
Oh my gosh, I'm running out of room on my on my right side with all the stack of movies. And then we have Mechs versus Mutants. All right. We're about to get to real life stuff soon, I promise. <laughs> but this is uh, Batman, Lego Batman, the movie. This is not the one that was in theaters. That one's coming up. This is uh, you know, direct-to-video stuff. And it came in an exclusive guide, which I still have in there. So. Now this is the one from the movies. This is a steelbook of the Lego Batman movie, which was really good. So There you go. And there's Bruce Wayne. All right. Try not to let this stuff fall over here. All right, there's Return of the Joker. This is a PG-13 version. Has a little bit more stuff in it. Not anything crazy enough, I don't think, to be PG-13, but it was. But... These are animated. This is uh, Batman, the Return of the Cape Crusaders. This is some of the last things that Adam West did before he passed away. As you know, he appears on Family Guy. So, you know, I, know, I didn't really see how they kicked Adam West of Family Guy off the show. Then here's... Batman versus Two Face. So this is really the last time, um, last thing that I think that Adam West did, and William Shatner plays Two Face, which is kind of funny. All right, now we're to these animated movies. These are just, these are some of the releases I still keep up with. Um, DC Warner Brothers comes out with these. So they're rated PG thirteen, and some are rated R. They direct to video every few months. They come out with they come out with uh, different ones. This is still one of my favorites, Batman Under the Red Hood. But they are coming out with, I think in the next two weeks, it's called Batman Hush. They came out with a few already. This is the 8th anniversary of Batman. So this is Batman Under the Red Hood, which is one, still one of my favorite ones. And I think there are over 30 movies now as far as these DC animated movies. Here's Batman Year One. Good one. And here is Batman... Uh, the Dark Knight Returns. This is based off the 1986, I think, graphic comic or novel or whatever of that. So this is the deluxe version. Has it was First it was in two parts and they have this. And I have a lot of these in Steelbook. But some of these Steelbooks can go for money. Um, so yeah. Oh, I should have showed this one first. But this is, this is a hard Steelbook to find. This is only at Best Buy. This is a DVD version of Batman Gotham Knight. This is uh, really hard to find from 2008. This came out right before the Dark Knight movie came out. And so this is this. And Kevin Conroy voices it. And I wanted to go to Comic Con. I'd never been to get him to sign this. But it's, it's stupid prices. you got to pay a price for them to sign stuff. and It's just crazy. Everything costs money, man. Um, then we have this. Son of Batman. Right. Assault on Arkham. So we got Batman, Bad Blood. Then we got Batman versus Robin. All right. We got this stack. We got the Killing Joke. This was another thing, graphic novel or book or whatever, or comic book. The Killing Joke. This is a good one too. Big one. There was a picture disc record of it. I wanted to get it, but I never picked it up. Yeah. Batman and Harley Quinn. This was actually really good. It was really funny too. A lot of humor in it. Like it was hilarious. So. And it's animated like the one in the 90s. That's what I like about these things. So. Batman Gotham by Gaslight. This takes place like during, I want to say the 1800s. So it's like a different universe. Really cool though. Awesome. Like during the Jack the Ripper time. Right there. It's Jack the Ripper. So. Good story. Then we have this. Different style of animation. I like how they try different styles of animation in these things. This is Batman Ninja. Really cool. I remember my nephew really enjoyed this. We watched these together. And sometimes my daughter too. But I just like how they try different styles of animation. 
like that. And this is actually the latest one that came out with this uh, Batman versus Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This came out a few months ago, and it was actually really good. I really enjoyed it. I didn't get Steelbook to it. I think it was exclusively at Barnes, Barnes and Noble. I just didn't feel like driving all that way, so I'll probably. But if they start releasing the Steelbooks there, because they always have them at Target, maybe they're switching to Barnes and Noble. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll just start going to Barnes and Noble and getting them. So there you go. So that's the latest, and then the next one, like I said, is gonna be Batman Hush. I think that comes out August 6th. All right, so here's the live action movies I have for Batman. I have the Blu-ray. This is the 20th anniversary. Now it's the 30th, but this is uh, the book. I guess you can say Diggy book or Diggy pack or whatever of Batman with Michael Keaton. Or Michael Keaton as Batman. And this is a movie that Prince did the music for. Jack Nicholson and the Joker, which at the time was amazing. So this was a very good movie. I always thought that Michael Keaton was a better Bruce Wayne than Batman because he was just so short and scrawny. But, I mean, oh no, I guess he did it good. Batman Returns. I only have the DVDs of these. These next three. Batman Forever. I do remember seeing this in theaters as a kid. I remember my mom brought me and like the neighbor's kids to the movies. I remember saying, so what movie you guys want to see? Batman Forever or Indian in the Cupboard? So that's, that really shows how old this movie is. Um, so this is Batman Forever. And these, and you know, the 1989 Batman movie was the first movie since the one with Adam West. And then we had Batman and Robin as uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze. A lot of people don't like George Clooney as Batman, which I get. I mean... I guess he wasn't horrible, but I don't know. This movie just wasn't that great, I remember. But Val Kilmer was a pretty good Batman. But to me, this is my this is my favorite Batman right here. One of my favorites. Uh, Christian Bale. He's probably probably number one or two on the list of Batman, like the better Batmans. So I like the voice he had for Batman. It's not like he had allergies or something. <laughs> but this is a Blu-ray. I remember I saw this movie in theaters. But this honestly is probably still my number one favorite superhero movie right here. The Dark Knight. This movie was great. Heath Ledger, Heath Ledger at the Joker. I mean, that was just great acting. Great acting, good action, suspense, everything. This was just a great movie. I think a lot of people would agree. Um, this is an exclusive. I think it was from Target. So, I think I had my movie ticket and everything in here. There you go. Alright, and this is the last of the movies. This is The Dark Knight Rises. Um, this movie, it was hard for me to grasp. I had to watch it a few times to really get into it. Um, but nothing to me really tops The Dark Knight. But this is The Dark Knight Rises. And there's spoofs of this on YouTube. I think it's called Badman. Oh my god, they're hilarious. There's one spoof of when there's a part in there it's just hilarious oh my gosh with bane and all that all right and the last thing so those are all my movies one more thing i want to show actually is video games i have some video games in my collection um this is the sega game of the adventures of batman and robin because at one time i collect video games and honestly if i find them with the covers i like to collect them i try not to go to the ones with just the cartilages so, but this is the one with the cartilage, but it, just the cartilage, not the cover. Then we have this, Batman Beyond, the Return of the Joker game. I had N64 when I was a kid, too. And these are mine. I, you know, I, I'm not into video games anymore. I just feel like I'm too old. But I know people my age who still play video games. I think it's kind of weird, but whatever, man. That's what they're into. But here's, oh yeah, here's Sega, though. Here's one more Sega game, the Revenge of the Joker. See, I bought this. Because I had the cover. So it doesn't have the book, though. But. All right. Now, this is the last system I had. Um, the 360 system. I don't buy... I don't play video games. I don't buy video games. I don't keep up with releases of video games anymore. I just don't have time for that crap. And it costs a lot of money. One game's like 60 bucks. So we're at Xbox One. This is the last system I had was a 360. It's just not my thing. 
Um, but I really enjoyed this game. This is one of the games, one of the last games I really enjoyed. But around this time, I had I had a kid, I had a child, you know. So I was like 20 years old. I had a kid, and you know, I didn't have time for this stuff. And I, when I was a, like 13, I was really into video games. But Arkham Asylum, I played this game over and over. Awesome game. Still love it. If I played it. <laughs> then I got Arkham City. Around this time, I started not playing video games. I touched on this game a little. Just didn't, you know, continue playing. So, Arkham City. And this game, I remember buying. I didn't even get to I didn't even play it. I opened it, but never played it, really. Because by this time, I really just lost interest in video games. And there was one more after this, I remember. I can't remember the name of it, but didn't buy it. Because, like I said, don't do it. And I don't have the new... I don't have Xbox One. I'm done with buying systems. So. But anyways, people. You know what? That is all my Batman stuff I have. I want to show, at least. So if you guys ever want to see the other stuff, just let me know. If enough people say, I'll do it. Um, and there's another thing I want to do that's really from my childhood. It's the 20th anniversary this year. I want to show some stuff from that. I have some stuff in my DVD collection. So stay tuned for that. I'll do that one of these days. So thank you all for watching me showing Batman like through the years of 80 years of Batman. So thank you very much and I will see you all later and goodbye.